Evan Addy's phoned into MSNBC and said that he's willing to testify. Uh, Ramirez's attorney also said that she was willing to testify. We have Collins who said that she's unsure that the Senate should be voting on Kavanaugh over the weekend. All the Senate Judiciary Dems, they're just all calling for a withdrawal. So let's do a statement from us calling for withdrawal and put out widely. So I just talked to Ralph Reed, and he says that you don't really care about the quality of any Republican justices. Your goal is to knock them all down until you can get uh, past the next couple of years and get Democratic justices. Is that we, fair? Our goal is to oppose anybody on Trump's shortlist, yes. Both sides are now starting to appreciate the high stakes of Supreme Court nominations. Republicans have always treated them as extremely important. If you remember in late 2016, when people thought Hillary Clinton was going to win, the Republicans were saying, if she does win, we're going to keep the Garland seat open for two more years. Are we moving into a new era where it's impossible to expect a Supreme Court justice to be confirmed if the Senate is a different party than the president? I think we may be. Let's just say flash forward to a Democratic president and they put up a nominee. The Republicans just say, well, let's just use the, the Kavanaugh playbook here, pull some witnesses out and shoot them down with allegations that are hard to disprove. I don't think that you can make allegations up out of thin air just as a political tactic. You know, Gorsuch's nomination was very intensely fought by the progressives, but it wasn't like people were able to conjure yeah. some kind of 11th hour allegation against him just to try to stop him. I don't think that any of these women are lying. I think that they're all credible claims. Just the sheer tonnage just, of the multiple allegations. This is just a straw that breaks it. I really don't see a path forward for him no matter what happens at the hearing tomorrow.